In some of my previous videos, I showed you how to paint your first Ultramarines with some models from the Leviathan box, but now it's time to take the rest of the Leviathan models and make your first 1000 point Space Marine Army. What's left to add in is the Captain in the Terminator armor, Lieutenant in the Phobos armor, 5 Terminators and the Big Dreadnought. At release date, all the Space Marines came to a total of 975 points, but the points have been changed recently and after adding some minor upgrades on the 40k app, the points only comes to 950. So we're 50 points short and with no real bits left over on the sprues, I'm going to have to think outside the box a little to get these 50 points in somehow later on. With that being a problem for future sponge, it's time to start painting and I base the models with Halford's grey primer and then give them all a base coat of McCraig blue. The under armour, part of the guns and the pouches on the Phobos Marine were then painted with one of my new favourite paints, Corvus Black. It's like a slightly faded black that looks better than just going with Abaddon Black all the time. The silver parts like the guns, cables, swords, the legs on the Dreadnought and a few small parts were then based with Lead Belcher. Liberator Gold was then used on the chest pieces, the sword handles and some of the decorative parts like the shoulder pads on the captain. The purity seals were then painted with Zandri Dust and Mephiston Red. There are a good few of these so make sure you double check to get them all because I kept missing some and I had to keep going back and forth to get them. I also used Mephiston Red on the Dreadnought's missiles and the captain's cloak. I always use a tiny amount of lamin medium with all my paints, but I add just a little extra to the Corax white so I can have multiple thin layers for a solid coat. Three of the guys have no helmets, so I painted two heads with Kislev flesh and one with Katachan flesh. The base coats are finished and while the McCraig spray covered a lot, there's still a good bit of details on some of these guys, especially the captain and the Phobos marine. To start the shading, I use nullin oil on the silver parts and then on the black parts, but I also use it on the blue armour, but just along the recesses. It can be tricky to not get it a little bit messy, but with a tiny bit of lamin medium added in, it thins it enough to shade the recesses, but it's light enough that it's easy to cover back over any mistakes with McCraig blue. I then used Reikland flesh shade all over the gold parts. For the purity seals, I then used skeleton hoard but with some contrast medium mixed in this time. For the red cloak, I used Caribou crimson mixed with a little bit extra lamin medium just so it won't be too dark when I'm shading it in. For the skin parts, I then used Gulliman and flesh on all three of the heads. Next came time to shade the white, and I still get a little nervous on shading white, but I used Fenrisian Grey mixed with some extra lamin medium this time, because I'd rather like to add two really thin layers than just adding one thick layer, because if it's not right, I can't really go back and take it off. So it's important to find your right mix of Fenrisian Grey and lamin medium. Up next is what took the longest, the highlights, and being more specifically, the highlights on the blue armour. This was tedious because there were so many lines to paint on the Space Marine armour and I'm usually okay with highlights, I can keep my hands steady enough, but doing it on 7 marines and a dreadnought on one go meant that I started making mistakes near the end with the Calgar blue highlight, but I was able to tidy him up with the McCraig blue when finished. Up next was the silver and gold parts and I used Stormhorse silver, not as much as the blue highlights but still a good few of them on the dreadnought to do. All the black parts then were highlighted with Dawnstone. Zandri Dust was then used on the parchment part of the Purity Seals and Evil Sun Scarlet was used to highlight the Red Seals and the Dreadnought's Missiles and Captain's Cloak. Highlighting the white is going to be tricky because the tiny lines on the head are really hard to get perfect, but I try and keep a steady hand and I highlight them with White Scar. Now it comes to that 50 points that I'm short of, and with no real space marine bits left over to use, I spotted that I had this teleport beacon belonging to the Terminators, and straight away I knew this thing is landing on a little swarm ripper guy, and if this isn't worth 50 points, then I don't know what is. These guys took a little longer than I thought they would've, the highlighting was the longest part, and while I'm not the biggest fan of dreadnoughts, they actually look pretty cool having one painted up. The captain was full of details and it's really nice having the newer terminators painted. But of course, the star of the group is the Tyranid Killing Teleport Beacon. 
If you want to know how I painted the Tyranids on the bases, you can check out my Librarian video, but I plan on doing a video on painting the Tyranids in the future. And that finishes my Leviathan Space Marine Army, and I really enjoyed painting these guys up and having two different sides, with one being the Damage Marines and the other being the Rescue Squad. I really hope these videos on the Space Marines helped you out, and if they have, let me know in the comment section below, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and once again, thanks for watching.